So today's video is going to be about my hair care routine. This is one of my most requested videos ever. I get questions about my hair every day, so I figured why not just do a video about it. So in this video, I'm just going to break it down based on like washing my hair, managing my hair, how I style my hair, everything like that. And yeah, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So I'm about to like take my hair down and I'm going to show you what I like to do before I go in the shower and do my hair. Um, and then the steps I take after the shower as well. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like when I just take it out. Um, I haven't done anything to it. So this is from when I did my hair yesterday morning. So this is second day hair and usually like when I wake up in the morning and I take it out of the ponytail actually yeah if I take it out of the ponytail that I sleep in and it's not like hideous like I consider this to be okay like I would leave the house like this with just a little bit of product then I would just wear it like this but for this video I'm gonna actually show you what I do to get it like this so first thing I do is I take this brush um any like I think it's called like a paddle brush or something. Any brush like this really works. Um, and you wanna just brush your hair out before getting in the shower, just so that it takes out all of the tangles. And then when you get out and you have to comb it, it won't be like pulling your hair out. So I'm just gonna brush this out. I like to do this step because when you get in the shower um, and it's time to get out and comb your hair, when it's wet, it will be really tangled. So it's always good to just get most of it out now. But it does make you look insane. So yeah, it makes you look kind of crazy, but that's what you gotta do, so. Okay, so I just brushed my whole hair out and this is what happens when you brush out curls. Okay, so I just got out the shower and my hair is literally like dripping wet so what i use for my shampoo is the brazilian keratin therapy um shampoo by ogx it smells like really really good um it is sulfate free so this has an inclusive blend of coconut oil keratin proteins avocado oil and cocoa butter so it helps strengthen and soften the hair while helping to smooth the cuticle from strong tresses adding a brilliant luxurious glow and luminescent shine i only wash my hair like once a week so yeah i definitely do notice that my hair is really shiny when i use this um and it's a way to wash your hair without like stripping it of like its natural oils and everything like that and drying out your hair so it's like actually like kind of hydrating too because it has like the coconut oil and all of that kind of stuff after that i go in with the matching conditioner this is the brazilian keratin therapy conditioner and it does the same thing as that but the conditioner version um, and it says that you should leave it on like five to ten no this says three to five minutes I never listen to what the bottle says I keep it on for like 15 minutes um just because I feel like five minutes is just not enough for my hair I just have really thick hair um, and it's frizzy so I just need to leave it in as long as I can so I'll just leave it in and then I'll have the water run really hot so that the steam kind of like gets into my hair also with the conditioner in it and I just want it to like sink into my hair just make sure that it's doing its job and then I rinse it out so so now that we've covered shampoo and conditioner I also do something else called co-washing um, this is fairly new to me I use this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus co-wash conditioning cleanser I've literally you can see like I haven't used that much I've only used it twice so basically you see that I use a lot of products so the days that I leave it in for the next day, like I do second day hair and I don't uh, rinse it out the same day. Um, if I do that more, like if I do that once or twice in between washes, since I only wash once a week or sometimes a little bit after that, I will wash my hair with this. So yeah, it has silk protein and neem oil for thick and curly hair. So it's anti-frizz. It gives moisture and shine. Yeah, it says no sulfates, no parabens, no lactates, no paraffin no uh, propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA, and no animal testing. So it's all cruelty free. Um, so it's a really, like if you are conscious about ingredients and things like that, you'll really like brands like OGX 
and Shea Moisture. So I think that will work really well for you. It works really nice with just removing all the excess products, like because a lot of it can build up the more that you're doing your hair and putting all these products in your hair, like the detangler and like the leave-in conditioners and the oils and everything like that. You just want to make sure that you're cleansing your hair properly without. Um, having to wash your hair all the time like this is just something to do in between if you don't want to wash your hair one day But it's like getting a little bit dirty, but it's not dirty enough for you need to do like a full-on wash This is something that you could do in between so um, While it's still wet. I'm actually just gonna spray in this. It's the replenishing water drops It's an 8 in 1 mist um, by OGX it has hyaluronic acid, which was really like interesting to me because I use hyaluronic acid in my skincare so I was like oh like it should probably work good for my hair too. So it has everlasting flower water in it, um, which is interesting too. I don't know, just the whole thing looked pretty interesting, so that's why I got it. Um, I needed something to detangle my hair, so when I saw this at Ulta, it was new, um, so I just bought it. This conditioning spray protects, detangles, smooths, softens, strengthens, and reduces frizz. Drench your hair in nourishing moisture. Honestly, I don't care about any of this. I just want to detangle my hair, so that's why I bought it. So it says you should spray on damp or dry hair. I never use it on dry hair. I only use it when my hair is damp, like straight out of the shower, just so that it takes out any extra tangles. So I'm just going to spray this through my hair. So yeah, my hair is literally dripping everywhere, so what I do to dry it, I take a microfiber towel. Um, this is the Turby Twist. You could just use any microfiber cloth or something, I feel like. I got this at Ulta, I think it was like $11 or something like that, but you, I'm pretty sure you don't have to spend that much. You can just get like a regular microfiber or something. But this one's cool because it has, like it's built for your actual head the way that it is, like your hair would go here. Um, my hair is really long, so it sometimes doesn't work for me, but it does the job, so. My hair down like this. And then I'm just gonna twist this. And then there's like this little hoop that you can wrap it around. So then it stays on your head like this. I have so much hair, so this part is always open. Um, I don't really care about that. So I keep this on for like two minutes because I don't want it to dry too much because when I put the hair product in my hair, I want my hair to be a little bit damp, but I also don't want it to be super dry either. Because my hair was literally like, the water was dripping all over my floor, so I had to dry some of it up, but I think this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. So. This is what it looks like now. The detangler is already like kind of sat in. It doesn't need to stay in for long, I feel like. This one's pretty like fast acting. But yeah, I'm just gonna like really softly comb it. And I like to hold and comb just so that I don't feel any knots like on my scalp. So yeah, it definitely combs a lot better. And I don't have any hairs coming out yet. When well, usually there would have already been hair. It just makes your hair feel so soft. If you're looking for just like a detangler, this is a good one to use. And my hair is still frizzy, so I don't know about like it reducing frizz, but it detangles, okay? That's all you gotta know. So that side is done, and that was so quick, and there's no hair on my comb. If you don't already have a comb like this, a wide tooth comb, and you have curly or thick hair or coarse hair, you definitely should get one. This is what my hair looks like right now. So as far as styling products, there is one product that is my holy grail that I have been using, I wanna say since I was in 10th grade. So it works really good for me. This is the Garnier Fructis um, leave-in conditioner. So yeah, this is the in Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream with Argan from Mor Argan Oil from Morocco. So this is for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. And that describes me so well. So, and it says up to three days of sleek. After the second day, I have to rinse it out because, I don't know, I feel like that's 
for me that's not true I have to rinse it out after two days but yeah it's all paraben free there's vitamin b3 and b6 there's fruit plant derived extracts like it really works and literally this is three dollars and 88 cents at walmart so you can't beat it but yeah i really recommend it it works really 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 good i love this stuff so yeah i go in with this stuff so <laughs> i use a lot so this is how much I use and this is just for this side of my hair but it's necessary for me because I have a lot of hair that I have to cover so yeah so I'm just gonna work it in like this And then I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. Now I'm just gonna comb it through. Just so that it's all evenly distributed. So now it's all in my hair. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. This is the next product that I like to use. So sometimes I'll put it in my hair right when I get out of the shower or sometimes I'll mix it in. Like when I squeeze this in my hand, I'll put two pumps of it in there or I'll just do it and then put some afterwards. Just so that I can have like extra shine to my hair. So this is the 100% pure bahoba oil. So it's a multitasking oil. It has omega-3, 6, and 9 and vitamins. Um, so it's going to help nourish the hair follicles, scalp, and skin. So I've never used it on my skin. I've only ever used it on my hair. I don't put it anywhere near my roots. I only put it on the body and the ends of my hair. So, and I just do two pumps of it. Um, this is from Shea Moisture, by the way. And I just rub it between my hands. And I just do the same thing that I did with the Garnier and just work it through. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I do not use any diffusers. I don't use any blow dryers. I don't do any of that. I just let my hair air dry. So yeah, the what I'm showing you is how I would do my hair like before school like or before work. So this is in the day, like in the morning. Um, it's the same thing that I do at night. The only difference is at night I tie my hair up in a bun and then I put it around this towel. Um, I know that you're supposed to get your hair trimmed for split ends like every six weeks. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I get my hair trimmed like twice a year because I hate cutting my hair it gives me anxiety and I just don't like doing it so this is the next product that I have this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Split and Split and Balm I used to have really noticeable split ends um, and now like I can barely see them even when my hair is dry I can barely see them I do this only at night because it makes your ends a little bit sticky so I don't do this during the day it's not like definitely a styling product it's more like maintenance um, and like just like taking care of your hair so when I take my showers at night and I do my hair um, I'll do this on the ends of my hair so it's really thick you can see it's like a wax kind of consistency so it's really like it's like a balm or something I don't know how to describe it so I just take some of it and I just squeeze it on the ends of my hair while my hair is wet um, and then when I wake up in the morning and I take my hair down my split ends look really good so I don't know this stuff is like magic I don't know it instantly seals and reduces the appearance of split ends and reduce breakage from heat styling up to 89% so yeah it doesn't say that it gets rid of split ends I don't think anything can get rid of split ends other than cutting it so yeah it does reduce the appearance of split ends certified with organic shea butter manuka honey and yogurt blend and a humidity blocking balm that holds rebellious ends together for a frizz free silky smooth finish uh, it says apply to damp or dry hair I feel like this would be a nightmare on dry hair because it's so sticky um, I would just only use it on wet hair, but yeah, I really like this a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.